Hey everyone, how are you doing this morning? It's Marla. Hopefully everybody is doing well. I did put makeup on this morning, but the hair is not perfect. I am going to show you a bag full of favorites that I have. These are my favorites for, I don't even know how long I've had some of these. I think most of the ones I'm showing you are brand new favorites that you haven't seen before. It's not like I just recently got them. I've been using these for a long time. I kind of have given them a test ride already to know that I really like them. Let's get started. I think I'm going to start with non-makeup, non-skincare items first. And the first thing that I've recently purchased that I am just head over heels in love with are these sneakers. Yes, I have big feet because I am almost 5'10". These beautiful sneakers from ASICS. Aren't they the prettiest things you have ever seen? I saw them and I fell in love with them. These are the gel Nimbus 23, I believe. They were expensive, but Asics sneakers, if you know, are expensive. I got these off of Amazon. They are so comfortable. I'm a huge Asics fan. Everybody seems to have a certain shoe or tennis shoe or running shoe that works well for them. I'm not a runner, by the way, but running shoe that works well for them. And Asics is a brand that really works well for my feet. I have a lot of pain in my feet, a lot of pain all over my body. I'm not even going to go into all my issues. I'm a chronic pain sufferer. Beautiful, beautiful. And they even have kind of like that neon. You can tell they're new. I never wear them out in the rain or get them dirty. I just love these. I'll list everything down in the description box that I'm showing you. These are the Gel Nimbus 23, and I think they are hot pink sour or something else. There's a name for them I'll put right here. I can't find these anywhere else other than Amazon. At least that's all I could find. Okay. Another thing that I'm actually wearing that's a non-makeup item are these earrings. Little huggies. I've never had little huggy earrings before. You know, the ones that just, these little gold ones that just are very close to the lobe. Ever since I got my third ear pierced, I keep my special earrings in the other two holes, but then I just change out the front one. I got these off of an Etsy shop. At first, they were a little difficult to kind of figure out how to snap in. But now that I've figured it out, it's super easy. And they're great when you're just wearing things like I'm wearing today, a super casual shirt just for walking my dogs. And I don't want anything dangling, hanging down from my ears. But I do want just something in that ear hole. I really love these little huggies. As I said before, I am a chronic pain sufferer. I spend lots of my day on a heat heating pad. I really do. I sleep on a heating pad at night. I take a nap in the afternoon. I think I probably have chronic fatigue syndrome also. I really use my heating pads. I burn through heating pads because I leave them on so much. And I have fallen in love with this particular brand. It is the Home Ec. Home Ec heating pad. It is super big, nice and long. I really, really would love to have like a full body heating pad to sleep on at night. I love these heating pads. These are great. They usually last me a year and that's really pretty good because as I said, I do use them every night to fall asleep. I'll even wake up in the middle of the night and turn the heating pad on again. This is my favorite brand. I love how long this is and I love that it gets so freaking hot. It has six levels. I think this one does. This is a new repurchase because I always like to have a backup because I cannot be without a heating pad. I can't sleep at night without it. Level six really would like almost give you third degree burns, but that's what I want. I want to have something that has lots of levels and does get really nice and warm on my muscles. And this heating pad does. Love this. All right, now for the bag of goodies. I mean, seriously, this is a big bag of goodies. So I'm going and try to go through this as fast as I possibly can. First things first, I recently purchased, well, not recently, probably this beginning of this year, right around Christmas time, I recently purchased a scent. I am somebody that likes super fresh, clean scents. I want to smell like I just got out of the shower. I don't want to smell like I have perfume on me. I love this brand, Clean Reserve. The only problem with this brand is it doesn't last long. So if you're someone that likes a long lasting perfume, 
you would have to reapply this, but I don't care. I love to get little testers first to make sure I like the perfume before I fork over all the money for the perfume because perfumes are so expensive. This one is the Aqua Neroli. I believe this is gluten-free and vegan and phthalate-free. And I think the notes in this are it's supposed to be a fresh kind of citrusy scent with lots of fruits. This was a spray bottle, but the spray bottle broke. I'm going to get the big size of this because I only have that much left. Keynotes of mandarin, neroli, and amber. And if you're looking for, you know, kind of a clean smelling scent that's not overpowering, that you could even wear into a doctor's office and not, <laughs> and not be kicked out because you know how so many doctor's offices now don't want people coming in with perfume and cologne on. It does need to be reapplied is not a long lasting scent. For body cream, hand cream that I've really fallen in love with. And I buy a lot of stuff that is labeled as baby. I just think it's a little bit better for sensitive skin. I don't know. A lot of things that you'll see in my house have baby written on them, even though we have no babies in this house. I love this CeraVe baby moisturizing cream. It is so hydrating. It comes out nice and thick. It is free of fragrance, free of parabens, free of dyes. I believe it contains three types of ceramides to help protect the skin barrier. What I like about this, I can't stand putting cream on my hands that doesn't get absorbed. You know, sometimes I put cream on my hands and I feel like I have to dry it off somewhere because they feel so greasy and sticky. This cream doesn't do that and it has no fragrance whatsoever, which I really like. So it's not competing with any scent I might be wearing. Do you, I'm not a big CeraVe fan. I don't wash my face with CeraVe products. I don't buy anything other than this cream, but I love this cream. It says it protects and maintains baby's delicate skin barrier. It contains three ceramides, protects and moisturizes all day, paraben-free and fragrance-free. If you're looking for an extremely hydrating, moisturizing body cream or even hand cream, I keep this next to my bed at night and put it on my hands. I think you will love this. Or something that has been been growing my eyebrows in that's not crazy expensive. I think I've talked to you guys about this before. I just purchased another one, so I decided to put it in my bag. It is the Rapid Brow. They may have a Rapid Lash too, I'm not sure, but it's the Eyebrow Enhancing Serum. It has definitely helped to help me grow my eyebrows in. They still need help. You can still see some bare spots, but they are so much better than they were before. And I think the price of this is like $39, so it's not quite as expensive as my other favorite, which is the Grande Brow, which I absolutely love too. This is a really great option if you are looking to try to grow your eyebrows in. Bald spots on my eyebrows that I thought would never grow in, this stuff really has helped. I think it's only about $39, so it's not so bad. I bought mine at Ulta. I would have to say two of my new favorite mascaras are. One is from Essence. I know everybody talks about this and I had purchased this a long time ago, but I think the one I had gotten a long time ago might have been dried out. I don't know and I didn't kind of like it at that time, but I decided to repurchase it again. This is the Lash Princess. This will give you the thickest, most voluminous lashes. It contains no parabens, no fragrance, no oil, no alcohol. It does sometimes, oh and I think it's cruelty free and it's $4.99, which is even the best part. It does, I think once in a while, maybe give me just a little tiny bit of flaking. I don't know. That's just me. Just a touch of flaking because I do notice it kind of once in a while I feel like I get a little piece of mascara in my eye. This would be one of my new favorites for mascara for this year. And the other one is this one that I talked about before, the one from Merit Beauty. This is a great mascara if you want a more natural look to your lashes. You maybe want them long, but you don't want them clumpy. You want it to look like you have great lashes, but you have no mascara on. This is really, really a lovely, lovely mascara. And it is cruelty free also, which is really nice. And I love the wand of this one. This is the wand of the Mare Beauty, which is nice and long and the mascara is nice and wet the way I like it. Same thing for the Essence 
Lash Princess Nice Long Wet Brush. Love both of these, and these are my two new favorite mascaras. I would have to say my favorite lip balm for the past two years has been this one from Fresh. It is the, oh, I love the scent of this. It is the Fresh, I think it's called the, where are you? Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. It is so nice. It is super, super thick, lasts forever. What I like about this is really, really hugs my lips. I put this on every night. I have absolutely no dryness on my lips. It's very hydrating. It's not greasy feeling at all, but you have to like a rose scent. If you don't like the scent of roses, you're going to hate this because this has a very fairly strong scent of roses, but I love the scent of roses. And I think this may come in different scents. I think this might come in a lime scent, I think, which would be wonderful. So I think when I'm done with this one, I may pick up a different scent. These are super hydrating. This is probably my favorite lip balm. Really hugs my lips and makes them wonderfully hydrated. And I never have dryness on my lips when I wake up in the morning. I would probably have to say my most favorite powder for powdering my face this year has been the one from Ilia. This is the Ilia. It is called Fade Into You. It has a sifter, which is very messy. I like loose powders because what I do is I just tap a little bit of this in the cap and then I take a powder puff and this stuff just melts into your skin. You just put it on and then just dab it and it gives your skin a really, not a dry look, but it gives you a really soft focused look to your skin. Hides any pores. Beautiful, beautiful powder. This is an organic powder. It contains, from what I can see, it contains organic powders and oils. It's talc free. It is very light translucent powder. You can barely see it on my face, but it does a great job of concealing any oily look around my T-zone area. It contains bamboo leaf, rosemary leaf, and it's cruelty free. I tried the number seven powder. This is the number seven lift and illuminate triple action finishing powder. I did not like this very much. I prefer number seven's loose powder better. Their loose translucent powder is fabulous. It reminds me of the one from Ilia. However, I don't think it's cruelty free. I don't think. So that's why I prefer this one. And it's all, this one's also organic. Being a, a face cleaning cleanser that I recently tested out and love. I got this Clean It Zero foam cleanser. It came kind of free with the Clean It Zero cleansing balm that I purchased. And this smells so fresh and clean. This is the most luxurious cleansing balm. I mean, when you rub it on your skin, it is so thick. It just feels so good going on your skin and then it just takes off all your makeup. It's just such a great facial cleanser. I really have liked this. This is almost used up. This was kind of a sample and I'm going to purchase the big size of this because I love the feeling of really luxurious cleansers on my face that feel like velvet and nice and thick and rich and this one is really, really like this. I believe this company is cruelty free. I'm pretty sure. Okay, favorite, hands down, I've talked about this already. I'm, I'm not going to waste much time on it. Favorite niacinamide for this year, hands down, is this one from Alginist. This is the most beautiful serum -y texture. I love this niacinamide. It makes my skin feel so good. And I am a big true believer, as I've said a thousand times before. I'm not going to say it again that much. True believer in niacinamide. I use it in the morning. I use it at night. And it definitely has helped to resurface my skin, makes my skin smooth helps with any texture. Favorite, hands down, the best niacinamide I've ever tried from Alginist. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, favorite, most favorite, most used sunscreen. When they had that big article about, you know, the sunscreens that needed to be recalled this year or last year uh, regarding them containing uh, contamination with uh, benzene, it kind of freaked me out. And I purchased and started buying this mineral sunscreen and have been addicted to it ever since. It is the one from Herba Viva. I've gone through like four of these already. I wish they sold this in a big jug. This is their organic skincare baby, another baby product, baby sunscreen. It is a mineral sunscreen and it is 80 minutes 
it's water resistant, naturally crafted, broad spectrum sunscreen with zinc oxide. It contains organic essential oils, sulfate free, coral reef safe, and cruelty free. This company, Herba Viva, I believe is out in Los Angeles, California. They have their own green manufacturing plant that is a sustainable plant that is very green for the environment. And they make this beautiful organic sunscreen that I absolutely love. There's no silicones, no petrol chemicals, no fragrances, and no artificial dyes in this. Hands down, my most favorite sunscreen. The only sunscreen I use on my face and neck, because this is a mineral sunscreen, it does make your face white. So what I end up doing is I put this all over my face and then I put a little bit of this on. This is the Juvia's Place and you can see it's already worn off. The Juvia's Place foundation stick. I think you can use this as a foundation, a concealer and also a bronzer, contour, whatever, depending on the color you buy. I think this comes in so many different colors. This one's like so messy, but I bought it in a really dark color. I bought it in a color called Dominica, which is darker than my skin tone. And what I always like to do is I like to, with mineral sunscreens that make my face white, put this all over my face, then add a little bit of this very dark foundation stick, rub that all in with a beauty sponge, and then it looks like it's just my natural skin coloring. So I don't look like I'm wearing a mineral sunscreen. This is a really nice foundation stick, only $8. I wouldn't necessarily purchase this and put this on my face alone. It's not my favorite foundation, but when I'm going out and I'm only wearing mineral sunscreen, this is how I wear my mineral sunscreen. These two things combined. Okay, we are almost, almost at the end. You know I am a big eye serum lover, believer. I've been using eye serums on my lids and around my eyes for, I don't know, 30 years, 40 years. And I really think even though my eye lids are definitely wrinkled, I'm 61 years old, I think that using eye serums have definitely helped me. I know some people don't believe in eye serums, but I am a true believer in eye serums. A new eye serum that I picked up that I've really, really liked is the one from Sunday Riley. This is the Sunday Riley Five Star Retinol Plus Niacinamide Eye Serum, two of my most favorite ingredients. This eye serum is supposed to target your eye area, it's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles, and supposed to help with, you know, puffiness, and it's supposed to help to support collagen production. Love this eye serum. It has this cool angled applicator. And then when it comes out, it comes out like a cream, but it's very, very cushiony and serum-like. This is actually my very, very first purchase from Sunday Riley. I have never purchased anything from this company before, but I really do like this five-star eye serum. My most favorite hair masks for the year is this one. This is the Q Redo. I talked to you about this before. Q Redo Deep Moisture hydration mask. It contains squalane and aloe vera. This is such a nice mask. It's fairly inexpensive. I think it's only like $18 or something. Smells so clean, but I love it because it's thick. It's a fast rinse formula, so it's not going to kind of like stay on your hair after you put it on. So what I do is I put this on clean hair with no products on it. I leave it on for like 30 minutes and then I rinse it off and it makes my hair just so hydrated and nice. I love this hair mask. Probably my most favorite hair mask that I've tried in a long time. I think it's cruelty free also. It just says squalane and aloe will help to add moisture and shine to your hair. And I think it also is scalp soothing and I like the price. And then finally, a couple honorable mentions. I love this eyebrow product from Merit Beauty. I did a review of Merit Beauty, which I will leave the video down in my description box. And I really liked their products, most of their products anyway. Love this eyebrow brush. It's kind of a tint. And then you just, you know, rub it on your brows. And this is a really great product if you have brows. I mean, it's really better if you have brows. I still have to use my most favorite brow product, which is 
this. This is the Retractable Brow Pencil Crayon from Wet n Wild. I think this is like $4.99, super cheap, but I love this. It has kind of the angle, thicker little crayon on it, and I just draw the tip of my eyebrow in and kind of fill in the empty spaces with this. Love, love that. If you have brows that you can actually brush through, this is such a nice little tinted brow product. Really like this from Merit Beauty, and Merit Beauty is cruelty free. The other thing I loved from Merit Beauty were these, and these were the, I think they're called shade sticks. If I'm wrong about that, I will put this down here. I love these little lip balms, glosses, whatever they're called. These are so nice, and I love this color, Ah Naturel. Really a beautiful color. It does give me a little bit of life to my face. It's not so natural that I look like I'm a corpse. These feel so good on the lips. Another cruelty-free product. I have been reaching for this particular lip gloss. Really have enjoyed this and I would definitely purchase the On Natural. I think it's just such a nice natural color, especially for my skin tone, which is a little bit darker. And I have four honorable mentions left. The first one is this. This is the Smashbox Always On Cream Eyeshadow. I have really liked these cream eyeshadows from Smashbox. You don't don't need much. All you need is just a little bit. And what I like about these is you have a lot of time. This one's actually a yellow color, but you have a lot of time to work with these on your eyes to really rub them in and make sure they're blended in really well. It doesn't dry really fast, but then once it dries, it stays on your eyes all day. I didn't find it creasing at all. I liked it because it's nice matte formula. I also liked it because I can use it just as a monochromatic color on my eyes. Eyes. I just kind of sweep it on my lids and I'm done for the day. I have it in yellow and I also have it in an olive shade green, which I really love. These are really nice, hassle-free. It's going to stay all day. It's not going to come off your eyes. You may want to look at the Smashbox Always On Cream Shadows. I picked up some of these KKW Beauty liners when they were on sale at Ulta. I think I got this for like $4. It was so cheap. They were trying to clean out, I think, the stock because I think they're trying to be more sustainable now. So they're, I guess, reorganizing how they manufacture or whatever. I don't know. All I know is everything from KKW Beauty at Ulta was just dirt cheap. <laughs> and I picked up this one lip liner from them that I really liked so much. It is pink number two. And this lip liner reminded me of a hibiscus color that I had purchased one time from Sonia Keshek that they no longer make. I think it's such a pretty color of pink. You could really put this all over your lips. It's just so nice. I wish they had a little bit more shades. I thought they were great. I thought they went on the lips really nicely. I thought they were really long lasting and I thought the colors were really pretty. All right, final, final honorable mentions are both from Strivectin. This is the Strivectin Crepe Control Tightening Body Cream. I mean, it's not going to tighten your body slack. It's not going to do any of anything like that. What I like about this is it contains their NIA 114 patented technology, which I think is just a blend of botanical extracts, I think. I love this body cream because it is so hydrating, really nice and thick. And then when you rub it in thick, body cream that does a great job of hydrating my body. It reminds me a lot of the has a really clean scent. It does remind me consistency wise, a little bit of the one from CeraVe, which is a lot cheaper than the one from Strivectin. I don't find it, you know, helping with crepe on your body, but I do find it is really nice at helping hydrate your skin on your body. So if you're a Strivectin lover, you may want to check out their Crepe Control Tightening Body Cream. And the other thing I've really enjoyed is this. This is their Strivectin Vectin Anti-Wrinkle SD Advance Plus Intense Moisturizing Concentrate. It says this for wrinkles and stretch marks. I do not use this for stretch marks. I really don't have stretch marks, but this is the most, probably hands down, one of the most, one of the most, I have one other, but one of the most hydrating facial moisturizers. When I have issues, which I normally don't because I keep on top of it, but when I have any issues with Retin-A, I use this and it is fabulous. It is super thick, super hydrating. 
This is one of the most moisturizing facial creams that I have. It says it significantly reduces the appearance of wrinkles and stretch marks. Again, like I don't use it for that while deeply moisturizing. A fabulous facial moisturizer. If you're struggling with Retin-A dryness, you may want to, oh, it smells clean. You may want to look into this. And it says it's for wrinkles, but what I think is, I think the key thing for wrinkles is you really want to make sure you keep your face hydrated. The drier your skin looks, I think the more pronounced your wrinkles are going to look. Whenever I have any dryness from my Retin-A, I put this on my face and the next day my skin feels like a little baby's bottom. Whew. I think that's it, guys. I went through my whole goodie bag or actually my whole doggy bag of products. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my favorites for the past, I don't know how many months. Take Take care, guys. Bye-bye from Marla.